Nestled in the heart of West Virginia is the JW and Hazel Ruby Welcome Center. Hundreds of visitors from far and wide make their way through security for credentials and a ride from the scenic gateway to the Summit Bechtel Reserve to participate in the 2023 Boy Scouts of America Jamboree. The Office of Surface Mining Reclamation and Enforcement is no different. At the invitation of Charlie Zimmerman, we jumped at the opportunity to partner with the Minerals Education Coalition and others at the Mining and Society Merit Badge booth. Here's what he had to say about the booth and what participants can expect. There's so many stereotypes out there about mining uh, and its past history that this is an opportunity for us to show scouts what mining is all about. And that's what the Mining and Society Merit Badge allows us to do is present that to scouts in an informational way that if nothing else, they walk away with a positive impression about mining. If they have the sort of positive experience that I had back in 1977, then that's what it's all about. Because I know what the Jamboree did for me back then. That's what I hope they have today. Upon arriving with parents and troop leaders, you would be hard pressed to find a scout who didn't appear to be enjoying their experience. The top of the Summit Bechtel Reserve is over 10,000 acres of repurposed and reclaimed mine land featuring wetlands and wildlife. The grounds are teeming with thousands of staff, volunteers, and participants who spend their time camping on site throughout the two week long event. Whether they emerge from tents or buses, all engage in activities like obstacle courses, immersive virtual coal mine operating, STEM quest demonstrations involving chemical reactions, robotics, musical performances, riding a zip line through the sky, and best of all, stopping by the Mining and Society Merit Badge booth. Scouts make their way through the booth learning from volunteers and OSMRE subject matter experts alike. As some of the first friendly faces encountered, Jessica Reitz and Chelsea Salaki lead the conversation displaying topographic maps from the National Mine Map Repository while displaying an understanding of the history of the land. I actually have a background in archaeology and museums, so I come to the National Mine Map Repository um, with that background and being able to share my experience with others. I have not been to a jamboree before, but I have worked with Boy Scouts before. I used to give tours to them in museums that I worked in, and I've also done archaeology merit badges for them. One of the things that they are loving the most, I think, is seeing the outline of the mines that are actually under the, the reserve. So the history of the mining goes back to the mid to early 1800s when the McKell group came in, um, the coal mining group. Um, they eventually sold them off in the early 1900s to the New River Coal Company. Um, and mining in this area went to about the late 18, 1980s, early 1990s. And having access to the NMMR is wonderful. They are able to see what abandoned mines were, were around, um, and it's useful for everybody. My background is in geology, and I have been archiving mind maps with the National Mind Map Repository since I was a student intern in 2011. I have been able to engage with excited Boy Scouts, and I think this has been this wow factor at showing them an overlay of where these underground mine workings are in relation to their campsites here at the Boy Scouts Jamboree. Well, mining has such a stigma around it, so I hope the Boy Scouts are able to understand the importance of regulation and understand the importance of mining in general and how safe we've made it and how safe we've made it for the environment and for people. Before attaining the Mining and Society Merit Badge, scouts stop to engage mining engineer Stephanie Self as she educates them on the history of the site through the lens of the reclamation process. I've been with OSM for about 18 years and what we're talking about is the Bechtel Summit Reserve. Um, this is an old coal mine that the Boy Scouts um, purchased. Actually, it's several old coal mines. And once the students come to me, we're talking about the old mining and what was left behind because of that mining and how after the Boy Scouts purchased it, they decided to partner with the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection and fix some of those AML uh, problems that were left by that pre-SMACRA mining. I think it's really cool that thousands of kids now get to come and explore the great outdoors in a site that wasn't accessible or really useful to anybody for a good 50 years. So I really like the fact that we get to highlight how much work and progress we've made in this site over the last 20 years. 
Thanks to the collaborative efforts of the OSMRE subject matter experts and the Minerals Education Coalition volunteers, scouts were able to hear about careers in mining, attain the Mining in Society Merit Badge, and learn how abandoned mine lands like the Summit Bechtel Reserve can be restored, reclaimed, and repurposed into something that actively adds value to the lives of thousands as the home of the Boy Scouts of America National Jamboree. For more information, visit www.osmre.gov forward slash education dash outreach. For the Office of Surface Mining Reclamation and Enforcement, Raphael Evans.